Now, let's look at setting the ISO in the advanced exposure modes. Turn the mode dial to P, S, A, or M. Press Info Edit and open the ISO settings screen. The options are virtually the same as those offered for the auto and scene modes. Here, the default setting is 100. Select the ISO the same way you would for a scene mode. Note that an auto option does not appear in the ISO settings screen. That's because auto works very differently for the advanced exposure modes. First of all, it must be activated from the menu system. Press the menu button. Use the multi selector to display the options for the shooting menu. Now, open ISO sensitivity settings. Press the right arrow key to open the ISO sensitivity menu. Toggle down to auto ISO sensitivity control and press OK. Select on and press OK to confirm. Anytime the camera is set to Auto ISO, this icon will appear on the information display and in the viewfinder. When Auto ISO is activated, the camera doesn't simply take over the ISO function. Instead, Auto serves as a safety net. The goal is to avoid an incorrect exposure. As you shoot, the camera will use your manually selected ISO. If the camera cannot achieve a correct exposure, it will engage Auto ISO. The camera will select a new ISO that allows it to set a correct exposure. Anytime Auto ISO is active, this icon will blink in the information display and in the viewfinder. When you play back the resulting image, the ISO number will appear in red on this information screen. One final note, if you decide to manually select the high setting, you will need to return to the ISO sensitivity settings menu. Open the maximum sensitivity menu. By default, the upper limit for ISO is set to 6400. Select High 1 instead. It's more likely, however, that you will use the maximum sensitivity menu to set a lower limit for ISO. If the camera needs to step in and change the ISO speed, it will not be able to select a value above this limit. Choose a value that is high enough to allow for faster shutter speeds. At the same time, you don't want an ISO speed that is too high. Remember, high ISO speeds add digital noise to your images. Your goal will be to introduce as little amplification as possible. At the same time, the camera must be able to set a fast enough shutter speed to avoid blur.